Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on types of resources. Now, the first thing you need to know is the difference between economic goods and free goods. So economic goods in the top left. An economic good is a scarce resource that costs. So by scarce, I mean it's difficult to get hold of. It's not all around you all the time. You have to go and search for it and find it. And because it's difficult to get hold of, because it's scarce, that means it costs. So an example would be metal. So say I wanted to go and buy a lump of copper. I can't just walk out into the street and there'll be lumps of copper all around. I have to go, I have to go to a shop, I have to go and source it, I have to go and find it somewhere. And because I have to do that, because it's difficult to find, it will cost me. Another example is water. And many of you would think that, oh, water shouldn't be an economic good. It doesn't cost, it's all around you all the time. What I mean by water is good quality, cleansed, purified and filtered water. So for example, water that will come out of your tap or water that will be in a bottle. Um, and that water is scarce, it is difficult to get hold of and it does cost you money. For example, you have a water bill every month. Free goods on the other hand, these are the opposite of economic goods. Free goods are resources that aren't scarce, so they are easy to get hold of and due to this, they don't cost. So an example would be oxygen. Oxygen is all around us all the time. There is enough oxygen for every human being on earth and it's easy for us to obtain, it's easy for us to get hold of. So therefore it doesn't cost. So an economic good is a scarce resource, it's difficult to get hold of, so it costs us. Whereas a free good is a resource that is not scarce, it is easy to get hold of, so therefore it does not cost us. Now next we have renewable resources in the bottom right and non-renewable resources in the bottom left. And many of you probably know what these are already. So a renewable resource is one which will replenish itself over a period of time. So it will renew itself as it says in the name. So oxygen, for example, uh, oxygen, we breathe, we breathe in, we breathe out carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is taken in by plants and then uh, plants emit oxygen. Uh, so therefore it's renewable, it renews itself over time. The same with food. We grow food and then we use the seeds from the food to grow more food. So it renews itself. And the same with water as well. They uh, estimate that when you drink a glass of water, that water has already been through nine people already. So water keeps on renewing itself by going round and round the water cycle again and again. And obviously you have renewable resources in terms of energy. These are the ones that people mostly think of. So that includes electricity you get from solar power and wind power. Now, non-renewable resources, on the other hand, these are resources that do not renew themselves at a rate which is sufficient for sustainable development. So they don't renew themselves over a reasonable period of time. So this will include things like metals, coal, oil and gas. These take thousands and millions of years to renew themselves. So they do renew themselves just over too long a period of time in order for us to use them in a sustainable way. So therefore they are non-renewable. They do not replenish, replenish themselves over a reasonable enough period of time.